my name is Oliver Slazak and this is a uh, video about the natural planning method which was um, created or consolidated by David Allen of uh, davidco.com or his other website is GTD Times, www.gtdtimes.com and so I'd like to talk about the natural planning method which has inspired me and increased my own productivity uh, personally so um, I'm going to be giving a two minute um, overview and then a two minute um, talk about each of the areas of the five planning five sorry of the natural planning method so there's five sections okay so the um, the overview of the natural planning method is um, basically it starts with um, sort of why and then what and then how and then um, organize and then the next action so the reason why this um, has inspired me so much is that oh, and just a quick apology about the lighting um, probably my volume and um, unshaved and um, um, maybe the volume yeah so you know there's apologies aside right so the natural planning method um, the reason why it's so exciting is that it starts with why which also includes includes um, so it's, it's kind of goes from the more kind of um, mental um, uh, what do you call it values kind of you know non, very non-specific human attributes um, spirituality and it goes all the way through all of the different areas so it then it goes through the mentalized and then it goes into sort of very specifics um, and then it comes down to being sort of more organized planning and stuff down at the very very next physical actual action so it has it all in one in one hit and they all link in uh, quite quite well so it's not just mentalized it's not just organized it's not just brainstorming it's all of it in one one circle um, and that's why it's so very powerful and uh, a lot of us sorry uh, me and my friend have discovered um, you know a great power with this right so um, the overview of um, I guess that's that so with the natural planning method there's it starts with why which um, there's a TED talk just on that called um, why and starting with why uh, so why is like the meaning um, could be spiritual spirituality could be ethics and morality principles and values so it's all those kind of you know high-end thought processes um, you know which kind of bring meaning for things and sometimes um, an idea will come to us so uh, this is the natural planning method like an idea will come to us and sometimes um, it's reject rejected by our own values as being unethical or um, it could hurt people um, if it's manifested or um, acted upon but often often you know ideas will come to us that are exciting um, and um, you know would benefit others and so then that means it sort of passes that first test of, um, of you know, you know um, having the idea you know contrasted with our own internal belief system and um, ethical standards so then um, so that's the first part of the natural planning method is that that an idea or is um, looked at the intuition sorry the um, the intuition the well you should sometimes it will come to us through intuition and then you look at the intention behind it just to check in that the intention is right but it's a, but it's a, it's a conscious um, checking so that's basically the um, the first part of the first part of the natural planning method is um, what's called the why um, which is again the meaning so that's that okay the next part of the natural planning method is called I'm calling it what um, it's also um, kind of the outcome area so it's different from the last part um, we're starting to get more specific or kind of mentalized um, visualized so it's starting to become more specific um, in terms of being able to talk about it more generically so you can start to talk to people about what you're talking about so uh, for instance you know say that no, I won't give an example but um, I won't give an example of an idea um, because uh, it can be this natural planning method can be applied to almost anything so um, it's the classic sort of visioning so if you can close your eyes and you know picture an end outcome or a process going towards it 
um, that's this part of the natural planning method and uh, you know it can be like the peak performance area um, so again if you can write down like the affirmation of what it's going to look like um, you can describe to another person you know the story of what it's going to look like in the future the way it looks like in the future you can talk about it in present tense so that's the next part of the natural planning method and uh, that's it and then we'll move on now to brainstorming well the next part of the natural planning method is uh, brainstorming or sometimes I call it the how so how and brainstorming it's starting to get more, even more specific but at this stage see the power of the natural planning method is by this stage you've already checked in with you know you've had an initial idea you've checked in with your own values and internal okayness about it and you started to vision it very specific so then you've got a, you've kind of got a framework around where the idea and then in this framework you can go crazy with ideas so just any amazing crazy idea good bad evil well not evil but um, um, you know all the hells so without um, without um, you know limiting you know what you can do and so so but you need to start to work out the how so you know who first where first how much money da, 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 all those specific stuff so you start writing all that stuff down but it's great because you've already limited the area that you're going to be unlimited in if that makes any sense and that's a that's a powerful thing because you've already started to you've written it down that's another thing with this natural planning method you've already written down written down those things um, which is a principle of success that if you can picture it you can do it if you can write it down it usually happens if you write down a goal it's more likely it's going to happen so because you've done those two things now you're kind of free to be creative and also more even more specific on the how next what next sort of a thing but you're also being unlimited um, in your thinking of you know what about that restriction oh well you know maybe if the president of the united states you know back this it would probably happen so you write the really crazy stuff as well that's that so we move on to the next part of the natural planning method which is organizing and then you've got next action after okay the next part of the natural planning method is organizing um okay so organizing is the classic uh classic kind of classic gtd um you know bulk of the stuff so uh you know it could be a calendar it could be a pro you know, projects list um you know you start maybe you're organizing with other people um but basically it's organizing so um you've thought about all the different you know, you've got your, your um, values clear, you've written, you can, you can picture it in your mind and it's a written idea, you've kind of thought of all the crazy ideas and the restrictions and how-tos, so now you're like, okay, baby, I need to organise someone, I need to call someone, oh, but, you know, it happens to be 3.30 in the morning, so I'll have to write it down to call that person, you know, tomorrow afternoon, or I have to wait till Monday midday, or I need to, um, you know, buy that software first. So, you, you know, that means I need to save up $500 or wait till I get paid, something like that. So there's an organizing method, so you're going towards that. But, but sometimes it's often with a project or any idea, there's often multiple steps. So it means you need to organize it and not keep it in your head, which is the whole part of the GTDs. You don't keep, well, you don't keep anything in your head. But let's start with just most things you don't keep in your head. So if there's a, you know, purchase a product, um, there's a talk to three different people, um, there's a, maybe you have to write something up. Those things are organized, so you have to take those in parts. And you know, once you've gone down those four things, you know, you're only you're only like ten minutes away from completion or shipping. So that takes organizing. So that's this part of it. But because you've already done all those other parts, that's like the natural the natural next part to do. And so after you've organized, then you go on to the next action, which is next. Okay, the very next action which is part of GTD uh, and basically the very next action is like a one one task that can be done in a single sitting or at a single uh, place or a, a single phone call or a single email um, that's clearly identified um, away from or as a part of the whole project so for instance this idea of putting this on the internet on YouTube my very next action after uh, filming all the parts is to edit it's pretty much edit. Well, edit the very next action, and then it's just soon after that, pretty much I can upload it. So I've actually got two next actions that I can see coming up before this will be uploaded onto the internet. So um, 
that's the very next action for this particular video. Uh, but if it's like you know starting a new business, which I'm currently doing, my never, very next action is to make time to write the business plan. So whatever you're uh, working on, um, you need to identify a very next action. So you know some projects are three next actions, some projects have got 50 next actions, some have got 50 thousand next actions if you're going to change the world it might take about 50,000 next actions but whatever is appropriate for you but they're, they're identi clearly identified as apart from other things inside a project um, and please look more into the GTD method methodology to find out more detail about this I hope you've enjoyed this um, um, rave about uh, the natural planning method I hope that you'll be able to uh, practice it and learn more about it Listen to what um, David Allen talks about it and find out another person who's practicing GTD and find out how they're doing with the natural planning method if they can see the value. For me, it's the most valuable part of the GTD methodology and I didn't, I didn't see it clearly as valuable in and of itself inside GTD. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have a great time.